What's up guys? Welcome back to Cherokee Hacks Life. Changing things up a little bit. It's been a little while since I put out a video, but I wanted to kind of change things up. I've been honestly really, really busy with work. Uh, I've been putting in a ridiculous amount of hours in there trying to do uh, what I got to do at work. Pay the bills, so to speak. And um, also, I've been uh, making sure that I record a lot of the workouts that I do. Making sure that I'm, I'm still progressing on my labrum surgery stuff. And, uh, you know, I just want to thank all of you guys that have been subscribing and trying to, you know, ask me questions. I still try to get to all the questions quickly. Videos are actually a lot more time consuming. It takes a good chunk out of my day to kind of put out some videos. So I appreciate you guys watching. appreciate you guys asking questions. Hopefully it's helping everybody out. Uh, basically, this is a six-month update. I'm at six months right now, and I can honestly say I'm probably 99% good at this point. Uh, what the only couple things that I'm probably experiencing, actually really two things that I'm experiencing right now, is when I sleep on my left arm, I tend to feel a little bit numb toward the day. So how do I, uh, not toward the day, but when, as soon as I wake up, so you kind of feel like a little tingling, a little numbness sensation. It's really weird because then during the day as well, it'll be like a, uh, like a warm sensation that kind of just hits right here near the AC joint. Um, but I honestly think it's just um, just some nerves firing and kind of acting in, you know, coming back together again, so to speak. But it's not uncomfortable, no pain whatsoever. I have pretty much a full range of motion. The only motion that I don't have, and this is the one that your doctor is probably going to be looking for most closely. And just to kind of give you guys a quick update back on five month period, at the five month mark, my doctor gave me a second cortisone shot. And that just definitely helped significantly on being able to get back to normal very, very quickly. All the workouts that we've been doing, all the stretches that we've been doing, all the strengthening exercises, and I got a couple more exercises that I wanted to put out there for you guys. Thought we start doing it, but Basically, your doctor's gonna want to do this, okay? He's gonna put your arms out to your side. He's gonna want you to come straight up, okay? So he's gonna want this rotation, and then he's gonna want the rotation back. Now, if you notice, my right arm, I can lay it back on the, on the wall. This one, not so much. It's pretty close. It's not really uncomfortable. It's really just stretching right now. It's really just stretching the hell out of it. And this is what I'm talking about in terms of when you're doing squats and stuff. That's the kind of motion that you want to keep doing. Um, I've been kind of staying away from squats because I guess I'm Mr. Glass. <laughs> uh, I tore my meniscus a couple months back. I mentioned it a little bit along in the videos. So I've been kind of staying away from a lot of uh, leg exercises and stuff. Anything that might put a little bit too much strain on my leg. Um, I have softball already so I don't want to increase anything beyond that. But basically guys, honestly I'm 99% there. The stretching, that's really not that big a deal. This little angle right here. I don't think my doctor's gonna be like, well, all right, so you're good next month. I think honestly, when he sees me tomorrow, Monday, he's gonna be like, hey, good job, man. Probably give me another cortisone shot. In fact, I might actually ask for one just so that way I could, you know, finally get the last bit of movement there. But other than that, I should be fine. One thing that I probably recommend for you guys is just do some wall slides. That's what I've been trying to do to try to get that rotation. Do some wall slides up and down to try to get that, uh, that range of motion. But other than that, I'm basically cured, man. So I'll be putting up a lot of different type of videos out as well. I got a lot of fun stuff, a lot of cool stuff coming out. So hopefully you guys stay tuned for that. And, um, you know, if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask me. I'm more than happy to help. As always, guys, catch you on the next video. Talk to you later.